Fox News alert, the White House has sent a letter to Attorney General Barr critical of Robert Mueller's report. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts is live with the latest. And this is big news. It has to do with executive privilege as well. John? Yeah, and this, this is going to form the basis, I think, going forward, too, Harris, for the White House refusing to comply with a lot of subpoenas that uh, will be coming down from Capitol Hill. Here's the letter. Uh, we obtained this earlier today. It's dated April 19th, which is the day after the Mueller report dropped. This is from Emmett Flood, who's the president's in-house counsel on the Mueller report to the Attorney General William Barr. The letter is very critical of the special counsel Robert Mueller saying that uh, Mueller did not properly do his job by not making a determination whether there was obstruction of justice, but then writing in detail about the special counsel's findings, flood writing, quote, the special counsel and his staff failed in their duty to act as prosecutors and only as prosecutors, flood going on to say the special counsel's office instead produced a prosecutorial curiosity part Truth Commission report and part law school exam. Also, it has been suggested that the report was written with the intent of providing Congress some kind of roadmap for congressional action. If that was, in fact, the special counsel office's intention, it too serves as additional evidence of the special counsel's refusal to follow applicable law. Now, the letter also argues that the president did not broadly waive executive privilege just because he did not claim it over the Mueller report, Flood writing, quote, his, the president's decision not to assert privilege is not a waiver of executive privilege for any other material or for any other purpose. And as to whether or not the president might allow Don McGahn, who was his White House counsel during the whole Russia investigation or other senior White House officials to testify before congressional committees uh, that are led either by Republicans or by Democrats. Flood writes, quote, his, the president's decision does not affect his ability as president to instruct his advisors to decline to appear before congressional committees and answer questions on the same subject. So basically, uh, what Flood here is saying is even though the president waived executive privilege on the release of the Mueller report, he's drawing the line there. And that if Congress wants to talk to any of his senior advisors, including Don McGahn, he uh, may indeed uh, claim executive privilege over that or any other documents or any of the investigative materials that are contained within uh, that were the basis John? released for the Mueller report. Now, no, uh, just let me let me just okay, let, go, yeah, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say all of this could end up in court. Uh, but the White House points to this 2014 decision during the Obama administration as a firm legal basis for saying that Congress does not have the power to subpoena senior administration officials. Harris? So you emailed me the letter, and I, I dutifully am reading it as you're talking. And there's one section that clarifies everything you just said in terms of executive privilege, I think. Mm -hmm. Under our system of government, unelected executive branch officers, which for the DOJ, that special counsel, Robert Mueller, would be that. Those unelected executive branch officers and intelligence agency personnel are supposed to answer to the person elected by the people, mm -hmm. i.e. the president, and not the other way around. So there is an opportunity that Mueller was able to, you know, get whatever he needed in terms of information per executive privilege, but that does not blanket give it to anybody else going forward, including, I would think, members of Congress as we move forward. This is fascinating. And it, it is it, it potentially do you see it as a game change in terms of how much information the White House would hand over? I mean, I think the White House is going to hand over as little information as they possibly can going forward because the president has said, look, we gave it all to Mueller. Mm -hmm. And Mueller was contained, by the way, in the executive branch. So there was no right. executive privilege there. But we're not going to give it uh, to Congress. And if you go all the way back to uh, the days of, of, of Watergate, uh, you had people in the administration who gave information to Judge Sirica, who was in charge hmm. of the of the uh, grand jury, who then gave it to Congress. So it went from Article Two of the Constitution to Article Three of the Constitution to Article One. Uh, but this letter is a very strong indication that the president yeah. intends to keep a lot of that information within Article Two and Article One. The Congress isn't going to get their hands on it. And again, it's probably all going to wind up in court, but the White House thinks it does have a strong legal basis to claim executive privilege. 